Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Wendy's Kooky Crochet Tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be making this super cute horse eared beanie. Um, this is a really, really soft beanie. It's great for um, babies, but it's um, it can be cute for an adult too, so follow along. Supplies you're going to need to make this, and I'll leave my affiliate links in the um, description below so you can see exactly what I use. But you're going to need your size chart, you're going to need your pink yarn, and I'm using this shimmer yarn. You're going to need your um, five millimeter crochet hook, and I'm, this yarn here is the Yarn Bee from Hobby Lobby. But again, I'll leave that link so you can see. And um, I'm just using the hook size that they recommend on the yarn itself. So I'm using my five millimeter hook. You're gonna need your yarn needle and your scissors to make this. And what I'm gonna do here to start out with is I'm gonna decide what size that I need. So you're also gonna need your measuring tape. And I'm gonna make the zero to three month size because I'm about to have a little baby niece. So I'm gonna be using the um, diameter chart there. So, and you can find this on my community page, by the way. So I'm gonna be making that um, three or 4.5 to 4.8 inch. And then it's gonna to have to be the 5.6 to 6 inches long. So here I'm just making a magic ring or magic circle. I'm chaining one and I'm going to do eight half double crochets in that magic ring. And then when I get done doing my eight half double crochets, I'm just going to slip stitch to the first one that I made. Now I'm slip stitching to that first one I made. Now I'm gonna chain one, and now I'm gonna do two half double crochets in each stitch around. So this round, round two here, will have two half double crochets in each stitch, and I'm doing it in the back loop. And if you don't know how to work in the back loop, I will leave that um, video in the description below. So here you're just going to do two half double crochets in each stitch around and I'm doing it in the back loop. And from here on out, if you wanted to, you could work just in the round, but you will need a stitch marker to do that so you can tell where you start and you stop at. So in the next round, round three, I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to do two half double crochets in the back loop only of the first stitch and then one half double crochet in the next stitch and I'm just going to repeat that pattern all the way around. All of it's going to be back loop only and for all the ones I'm doing right here, I am connecting to the first stitch made so I'm going to um, slip stitch to that first stitch made and then I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to keep working that, that way but I'm going to switch that after I get the um, the diameter that I need here I'm going to switch up what I'm doing a little bit but again I'm just working two double crochets in one stitch and then one double crochet in the next stitch and then I'm um, just repeating that pattern all the way around in the back loop only and this round will have a total of 24 stitches. Thank you. 
All right, now my next round, I'm gonna chain one and I'm gonna do two half double crochets in that first stitch. And then I'm gonna do one half double crochet in the next two stitches. And I'm still working in the back loop only. And then I'm gonna repeat this all the way around that pattern. Just keep on repeating the same pattern all the way around. And then I'm going to um, slip stitch in the first half double crochet that I made. And this round will end up having 32 stitches total. So again, I'm just doing two half double crochets in the first stitch and then one half double crochet in the next two stitches. And then I'm repeating that um, all the way around and I'm only working in that back loop only. And I'm, only, I'm doing it that way because I want that ridge around it because I think that looks super cute. And then again, I'm just gonna slip stitch to the first half double crochet that I made. All right, now on this next round, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do, I'm gonna chain one first, I'm gonna do two half double crochets in that first stitch, and then I'm gonna do one half double crochet in the next three stitches. And I'm uh, again, I'm doing this in the back loop only, and then I'm gonna slip stitch to the first half double crochet that I made. And then I'm just gonna repeat that pattern all the way around till I get to the end. Okay guys, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure, I'm gonna see if I've got enough, um, big enough yet, and well, we're almost there, but we're not quite there. I think we need to do one more round here and then we'll be there. So I'm gonna chain one, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do two half double crochets in that first stitch, and then I'm gonna do one half double crochet in the next four stitches, and I'm gonna repeat that pattern all the way around, and again, I'm just doing it in the back loop only. So that back loop only is what I'm working in, so it gives me that ridge on the front. And then I'm going to slip stitch to the first half double crochet that I made, and then I'm going to um, remeasure and see where we're at from there. And this round, here it's going to have 48 total stitches.
So now I'm just going to slip stitch to that first stitch that I made and I'm going to measure again to see if I think it's about the right size. So here, that's, that is, that's a, that's a about the right size there. So that's almost the five inch size. So that's good. I'm satisfied with this. So from here on out, what I'm going to do, so I'm going to chain one there. So from here on out, I'm going to make it the, um, I'm just going to work one half double crochet in each stitch and in the back loop all the way around. And for this, um, what I would do if I were you, I didn't do it right here because I can see where I started on my stitches right there. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just work in the round now because I don't want that line going all the way down. So I'm just going to work in the round, which means I'm going to do one half double crochet in each stitch in the back loop only. And then I'm not going to slip stitch to the first stitch that I made. I'm just going to keep on working. And again, not slip stitch in the first half double crochet that I made. I'm going to just go straight into that half double crochet in the back loop only and just continue working in the round. And again, it is a really good idea to um, use a stick, stitch marker and mark that first half double crochet that you make. And then you would move the stitch marker down as you go. So here you can see I went ahead and I grabbed my stitch marker that way I won't lose my place. So I made that I made a half double crochet on the next round and I'm going to mark that first half double crochet that I make and I'm going to just keep on half double crocheting all the way around and every time that I get to that first half double crochet that I make I'm just going to move that stitch marker down um, that way I know where my first stitch was and then I'm just going to keep on going and the way reason I'm doing it this way is because I just don't want that little line that's there and this is a really easy fun way to do this. And guys, if you're liking what you're seeing, then please consider subscribing to my channel. It would just really mean the world to me if you would subscribe to my channel. I love making these videos for you, and um, this one's just such a fun project with the unicorn horn, and I hope you're really loving it also.
And remember when you're working on this that you're working in the back loop only. So just in that back loop only going all the way around. Um, and remember just to move your stitch marker also. So when you're working in that stitch, remember to remove your stitch marker and then put it back um, in the first half double crochet that you make on your new round.
All right, so I'm almost finished here. I'm almost back to my stitch marker and this height is looking really good to me. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to measure this. So this looks right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove my stitch marker and I'm going to make just three more half double crochets past my stitch marker. And then I'm going to slip stitch into that next stitch and then I'm going to just cut my yarn and I'm going to weave in my ends now. So I'm just going to cut that. I'm going to grab my yarn needle there. So I'm going to go ahead and weave in that end. And again, I'm just going to go back and forth here, weaving in the end right there like that. And um, just kind of working my needle in and out. And then go back through the stitches that you've already made. And then I'm going to go up and across and I'm going to try to keep along those ridges when I'm working this through um, so you won't be able to see it very much or at all really. And again I'm just going back and forth all the way around through those ridges and then when I'm satisfied I'm just going to cut my yarn and be done. And I'm going to tie it off, but you don't have to. That's going to be a really, really stable, um, stable way to do it is working in those ends like that. But I still like to tie mine off, so that's what I'm going to do. All right, now it's time that we make our ears. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a magic ring. And in that magic ring, we're going to chain one and we're gonna do four half double crochets in that magic ring. And then when we get down with that, we're going to slip stitch to the first half double crochet that we made. And um, you're gonna make two of these. So there's two ears on him. So here, I'm just gonna pull that magic ring tight and now I'm going to slip stitch to the first one that I made and I like to count these just to make sure that I'm doing it in the right one so I'm going to slip stitch to that first half double crochet I made now I'm going to chain one now I'm going to do two half double crochets in the first stitch and I'm going to do one half double crochet in the next stitch and then I'm going to repeat this one more time So two half double crochets in one stitch and then one half double crochet in the next stitch. And then when I'm done with that, I'm going to slip stitch to the first half double crochet that I made. So I just did my slip stitch. I'm just looking at it, seeing if I like it. And I do. So now I'm going to do two half double crochets in that first stitch. And then I'm going to do one half double crochet in the next stitch. And then I'm going to repeat that around. So I'm going to do two half double crochets in that next stitch. And then one half double crochet in the next stitch. And then I'm going to do two half double crochets in that next stitch. And then one half double crochet in the next stitch. Now I'm going to slip stitch to the first stitch I made. Now I'm going to look at it, see if I like it. Alright, so it's looking super cute. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just push that yarn in the middle there so it stops getting in my way. And now I'm just going to do one half double crochet in each stitch around. Now, if you want to, you could do um, another row, row five. But for this one, this is a pretty small little beanie. So I'm going to stick with um, four rows here. So this one half double crochet all the way around is going to be my last row. But if you were making this for um, 
someone if so let's say you were making it for like you know a child like a two-year-old or a three-year-old something like that then you might want to make um just one more row there so the the uh, ears stick up just a little bit further so here i finished my one half double crochet all the way around and so i think it looks cute i'm satisfied with that so now i'm just going to um cut my yarn and I'm gonna leave this long so I can sew it in. So make sure when you cut your yarn that you're cutting a long piece so you can sew it in later. I'm just pulling it through and then I'm gonna do that one more time. So here you can see I've got my little, my little ear there. So now I'm gonna start over and do exactly what I was just doing. So I'm gonna make a magic ring. I'm going to chain one and I'm going to do four half double crochets in my magic ring. And now I'm going to pull it tight. And I'm going to slip stitch to that first half double crochet that I made. And now I'm going to chain one and on the next round I'm going to do two half double crochets in that first stitch. And then I'm going to do one half double crochet in the next stitch. And then I'm going to repeat that around. So I'm going to do two half double crochets in that first stitch. And then one half double crochet in the next stitch. And then I'm going to um, chain join it with the first half double crochet that I made. Now I'm gonna chain one, and then I'm gonna do two half double crochets in that first stitch. Then I'm gonna do one half double crochet in the next stitch. And I'm gonna repeat that around. So two half double crochets in the next stitch. Then one half double crochet in the next stitch. Then two half double crochets in the next stitch. And then one half double crochet in the one after that. And then I'm going to slip stitch to the first stitch that I made. And I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to again push that um, yarn in there. And then I'm going to do one half double crochet in each stitch around. Right now, I'm going to look at them, compare them. So I kind of worked with the other one, so I need to work with this one a little bit to make sure it looks the same. And yeah, it looks the same. Okay. All right. That's good. So now I'm just going to um, cut my yarn. Make sure you cut it long so you can sew it in later. And what do you think? I think that looks super, super cute, guys. So now we're just going to um, take our yarn needle and then we're going to sew this on. So you're going to go in and out all the way around. Sorry, my uh, thing was, my lens was uh, making it blurry for a second. Sorry about that. So here I'm just, I'm doing it just a tiny bit forward. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want it to um, kind of stand up on the head more. So I'm not doing it exactly 100% even. I'm doing it just a tiny bit forward. And you can see I'm doing it on that, kind of that first ridge that we made is where I'm sewing this in at. So that first ridge that we made is where I'm doing it at. And I'm just going to go all the way around with it. And now I'm going to tie it off and I'm going to sew the other one on.
So now I'm just doing the same thing for the other side. Man, this is going in and out blurry, isn't it? I need to see what's wrong with the camera. So I'm just sewing it on, going all the way around, back and forth, and I'm making sure that it looks pretty even on both sides. And now I'm just tying it off. So I'm putting my yarn to the back and I'm tying off that ear here. Then after this, we will be done, guys. I hope you enjoyed making this beanie with me. I really enjoyed making it with you guys. Subscribe to my channel and happy hooking, everybody.